morning, good afternoon, and good evening, gentlemen. Here today, I'll talk to you about some whiskeys. More importantly, different types of whiskeys, bourbons, and uh, weeders, actually, a term we've never talked about. So, what you see in front of me is a little selection of different whiskeys that I have in stock that I keep on my shelf. But what I happened to grab was different types of uh, whiskeys or bourbons. Each one of them's unique, brings a different flavor, a different character, a different profile, and, and a different target audience. So I'm gonna start off over here on my left. TX, TX is a whiskey that a lot of us have had. What's different and unique about this whiskey is it's a blended whiskey. 41% alcohol with blended. What blended means is it's a mixture of multiple whiskeys. Uh, the different types of whiskeys we don't know, but it's made from this distillery and it's considered a blend having multiple whiskeys. I think a lot of us are a big fan of the TX. Next over here on the left, we have some Larceny Small Batch. Small Batch is a term used that lots of distilleries take a select number of barrels. It doesn't say how many barrels, could be a couple, could be uh, hundreds. I don't know if I know that, but what a small batch, small batch whiskey is, is a mixture of only a select few of barrels trying to find a certain flavor profile. Lots of the more popular whiskeys that we drink, that we enjoy for the flavors and we like kind of the most, small batch is a pretty popular term. One of the next ones that we started to drink, a lot of us are thinking a little more like gasoline. We have a barrel proof whiskey. Barrel proof, high in alcohol. Um, this one here is 127 proof. Jesus, this is big back in here, it's awful. We're gonna go with it though. Uh, barrel proof, high, high alcohol. Lots of these other whiskeys and bourbons we have here, they actually add water to you to bring some of the alcohol content down. So these guys are straight out of the barrel. Um, they're not looking at a specific alcohol volume. Every barrel is slightly different. So barrel proof, high octane. Something that I actually don't know a whole lot about is bottled in bond. What bottled in bond means is it's actually secured in a government warehouse and to be a bottled and bond whiskey or bourbon, it must be a minimum of four years. It must also be a minimum of 100 proof. Uh, there's a lot of different bottled and bonds. Um, it seems like if you're usually liking a uh, certain flavor profile, a lot of the bottled and bonds um, fit your bill for that 100 proof, a little bit of kick. And honestly, I think it's one of the sweet spots. Uh, next one up, this is actually my personal favorite right now. I have two bottles of these, and if you're ever looking for a Weller, you'll probably pay too much for it. Now this one specifically, I paid uh, $40 for my first bottle and $200 for my second bottle. So I went a little too gung-ho on getting it, but uh, this is my favorite one at the moment. What makes this one special is it's actually considered a wheated bourbon. Um, all the other bourbons and whiskeys you've seen on this table are at least 51% corn, and that corn means it's technically a bourbon. But this guy takes the same recipe, but swaps out all the corn for wheat. So it's considered a weeded bourbon. And the last guy right here is uh, kind of a trophy for lots of us. A lot of us are looking for this. The old uh, bombshell Blantons. Um, this one's considered a single barrel. And what makes single barrels unique if you look on the uh, labeling, a lot of the labeling's handwritten, which means it's only one specific barrel. So if you happen to buy the same bottle, um, buy another bottle of Blanton's, what you're gonna see is probably different handwriting, different barrel numbers, different rickhouses, and that barrel's gonna tell you exactly where it came from, and uh, every barrel's gonna be slightly different. Um, season to season, it's gonna change and even barrel to barrel it changes, so it's, it's a quite unique different flavor, flavor, flavor profile. Well, that's all I got for this video. This is gonna be my first one with some background music. 
just playing it on the stereo, see how that plays out. And uh, we're gonna bring the Colorado Electrical Whiskey Elite Club up another level with the YouTube channel. So I'll be the first guy posting it on the YouTube channel, so hopefully this works out. Hopefully I don't need to make any more videos because um, hopefully this one plays. So I'm gonna sign it off right now. And uh, good drink with you fellas. I like what we're doing here. I think I'm gonna put it off to the next guy to make the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it back to Slade. Slade, you're on the clock. You need to figure out how to get a YouTube channel. Sign into, I believe our Gmail account is seaweekwhiskeyclub at gmail.com. That's C E W E C whiskey with an E club at gmail.com. And our password is cheers5280. Um, any questions, please contact our technical support, Patrick Johnson. Thank you guys. Have a good night.